Welcome to day two of your 14-day Pilates Reformer program. My name is Melanie, your Mildly Goth Pilates instructor. This program is centered all around the idea of building mind-body connection, challenging ourselves, and using movement to connect to our bodies and calm our minds. So I still really want to make sure it's chill but challenging, so that's going to be at the heart of what we do. So today we're going to focus on abs. Headrest will be up. I'm adding two red springs or two heavy springs. Grab your straps, meet me lying down on the machine. And if you're not yet subscribed, please make sure you hit the subscribe button so I can see you again. And if you are subscribe, please consider joining my membership program. That's where a lot of the fun stuff lives. So if you want more of a challenge or some more flavor or more props, come join us over there. I'm going to take the straps and I'm going to thread my legs through them so that the straps are onto your, my thighs. If you have long loops on your reformer, that may be more comfortable, but the short straps work just fine too. So you want the straps on your thighs, not directly on your knee socket. I'm going to scoot away from the shoulder blocks just a little bit. Legs will be in tabletop, shins parallel to the ceiling. Relax your shoulders down. I'm going to take a big breath in. <sighs> Exhale, release as you lower the, the toes down. So the idea here is I'm letting the toes dip into the well while keeping the legs at a right angle and lifting them back up. So I'd really like for you to think about slow control through this series. Good, and your spine is in neutral. So the bottom of your sacrum is heavy on the mat. You have a natural curve in your low back. Your ribs are down. You're not curling the pelvis under as the feet go down unless you are protecting a low back injury and that's your, your doctor's recommendation. I'd prefer to focus on a neutral spine otherwise. You're gonna exhale as the toes go down. Inhale, rise up. This is our warm up. So on the day one video, we talked about the idea of the 360 degree breath. So every time you inhale, you're breathing into your back, you're breathing into your sides, you're breathing into your front, the air goes down. It's like an umbrella opening when you inhale and an umbrella closing when you exhale. And the idea is that helps engage your abs as you breathe. It also brings a sense of centeredness. Good. Last one here. Hopefully you're starting to feel tension work happening in your deep core, tension between your hip bones. Good. Now with our spine in neutral, we're going to extend the legs to 45, bend the knees, bring it back to tabletop. Extend the legs long, bend the knees, bring it back to tabletop. Exhale, extend long. Inhale, bring it back. Slow and steady. So the idea is we're really focusing on mindful, centered movement, but still really focused on getting the muscle activation too. If you have any tension in your forehead, feel it melt away. Focus the effort into your core rather than into your face or your shoulders or your neck. Good. Extend long. Good. Extend the legs up to 90 degrees. Now we're going to flip to Pilates V. So heels together, toes apart, legs are really long. I'm going to lower the legs to 45 or lower, bring them back up. So you want to keep that neutral spine, if you can, working your core here as you lower and lift the legs. So the straps are both creating a little resistance and also adding a little support on what normally would be an unsupported exercise that would force your abs to work very intensely, but we're just warming up. And this is helping us build that connection while focusing on our form, keeping the ribs down, and building the breath into our movement. Three more. Good. Last two. Release the tension in your face. It's a reminder to me just as much as it is to you. And up. When you're ready, we're going to take the straps off of the thighs and we'll move on. Next, we're going to flip onto one red, one blue, or one heavy, one light. My hands are going to go into my straps and we're going to get ready to build on the ab series that we started yesterday. So hands will go into your straps. As always, you have the option of curling up the head, neck, and chest and or extending one leg, alternating sides, or both legs based on whatever works for you. Arms will be extended above the shoulders, shins parallel to the ceiling. I'm going to curl up, press the palms down, keeping the spine in neutral. Inhale, lower the head and chest. Press down. You want to think about the tips of your shoulder blades lifting off the mat or everything else but the tips of your shoulder blades lifting off the mat depending on what feels right. Good. And when that feels comfortable, I'm going to start to explore 
the leg extension. So I'm going for the double leg today. Take whatever makes sense for you. And this movement probably takes a fair amount of effort. I'd like to bring your attention back to your breath and your breath technique. So as you lower the head, big breath in 360 degrees. Start your breath out before you press through the palms. Two more. Inhale, bring it down. Exhale, everything comes back to tabletop. Next, we'll move into an exercise called coordination. So arms will still be up over your shoulders to prep. Legs start in tabletop. I'm going to curl up, press the palms out, legs to 45. Open the legs, close the legs, knees bend, elbows bend. Tricep extension, legs extend. Open the legs, close the legs, knees in, bend the elbows. Press out, open, close, knees in, arms in. Three more. Press out, open, close. Inhale, knees in, arms in. Exhale, open, close, knees in, and together. Last one. Open, close, knees in, elbows bend. Rest your head down, arms relaxed by your side while feet are on the foot bar. Open up your chest. Take a big breath in. Just relax everything. Arches of the feet are in the outer corners. Let's just take a windshield wiper with the knees, letting your top hip roll over. Take your big 360 breaths. Let everything relax. And as the knee folds over to the side, I like to feel a little bit of the shoulder stretch or hip stretch on that same side. Good. Last one, we're gonna continue on. So for this next one, arms are gonna extend over the shoulders to begin. Legs will start in tabletop and we're gonna open the knees as wide as the hips. So the thighs aren't squeezed together, they're actually as wide as your hip bones. So for this one, we're gonna curl up on a diagonal alternating side. So I'm gonna curl to the right, left hand goes between my legs. Inhale, lower the head down, hands come up above the shoulders. Left side, curl to the left, right hand between the thighs. Roll it down. So the outside hand goes to the outside hip every time you curl. Now if this is too much on the head and neck, you can just take the arms. That's completely fine. But listen to your body. If you can curl, go for it. Really use your inhale and your exhale. Feel your obliques engaging. Two more each side. Good. Last set. And switch. Very nice. So rest your feet down on the foot bar. Open your chest. Big breath in, release. It's time for my emotional support water break. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it so far. Thanks. Next up, we're gonna do some kneeling abdominal work. So I switched on to a red spring or a heavy spring. You could alternately do a blue spring or a light spring for this one. I'm gonna bring my knees up to the shoulder blocks. I'm gonna stack my hips right over my knees. My arms are gonna walk forward onto the frame in front of me. I'm gonna wrap all of my fingers to the outside. So no thumbs on the inside, please. I'm gonna start with my hands on the frame right under my shoulders. First, we're gonna do a little cat cow to mobilize the spine. So I'm gonna push up through the hands. I'm gonna take a big breath in. Look for my belly button. Curl the spine up, exhale. Find a nice arch, sending the tailbone back. Letting your sternum shine forward. Big breath in, curling forward, sending the pelvis under, looking for your belly button. Exhale, unfurl the spine. Find a nice big curl. So you don't want to crane your chin, your chin up and hurt your neck. You just want to look directly forward. One more big inhale. Exhale. Find your arch, feel your spine release. Good. Now find the midpoint between the arch and the curl here. So you want a neutral curve in your low back without sticking your bottom out. So I'm gonna walk my hands out a little further this time. So they're not directly under my shoulders, they're a little further forward. I'm going to bring my rib cage down toward my pelvis, push up through the palms, big inhale, exhale. I'm gonna pull forward, hold for five, four, three, two, one, relax it back. If that was too much. You can either bring your hands closer to your body or switch to a blue spring. If you need more, walk the hands out further. Push up through the palms to separate through the shoulder blade, protect your neck. Big breath in, 
exhale before you pull. Let's hold for five, four, three, two, one. Close the stopper. Let's do three more. Big breath in. Exhale, pull. Use your abs. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Relax it back. Good. Two more. Big breath in. Use your breath. We hold for five, four, three, two, one. Close it. Last one here. Big breath in. Push up through the palms. Exhale, hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Close the stopper. Take a quick child's pose, pressing your hips down to your heels. Arms extend forward. Relax your chest down. Big breath in, feeling the air fill your back. And exhale, good. Now we're gonna pulse the knees forward. So before we were keeping the hips over the knees as we were using our abs and our, our back to pull forward. Now we're going to pull into that same position. Big breath in where the shoulders are above the wrists. Now knees come forward and back forward and back. If you need to take a second to regrip the hands, feel free to do that. Pull forward, knees come in and out. Good. Your gaze is down on the floor in front of you. Shoulders are wrapped forward and rolled back. Let's go for six, five, using your lower abs more than your quads, ideally. This is four, three, two, and one, good. Close the stopper gently with control. Find your child's pose one more time. Hips to heels, arms forward. Head can relax down. Feel your lungs expand in every direction. Relax and release. One more big breath in. Feel everything relax. Roll your spine to sit up. Stack nice and tall, we're gonna move on. All right, we're gonna go for our last series today. For abs, I've switched onto a red and a yellow spring or a heavy and an extra light. A red and a blue or a red and a light would suffice if you don't have the yellow. So I'm gonna start with my toes curled under, my knees on the reformer, hip distance apart, hands on the foot bar, and I'm going to start in sort of a diagonal line position. We're gonna go for our downstretch variation. So what that means is I'm gonna keep my hips in this hinge forward position. I'm gonna push through the bar, extending through the shoulder angle and shine my sternum forward as I come up. So I'm pushing away and keeping that torso shape, bring it right back up. So I'm not pushing back with the hips. I'm not doing anything crazy with the spine just yet. I am letting my shoulder angle open, pushing the carriage away and bringing it back in. If your range is just a few inches, that's what I'd like you to do. Whatever you have access to is the right choice for you. Don't feel like you need to go super crazy far away. It doesn't need to be intense to be effective. If that doesn't feel good to your body. But if you have access to it, feel free to explore that. Exhale as you push away. Think about your chest lifting and rising forward. And take care not to pull on the bar, particularly as you come forward, especially if you have a reformer where the bar um, collapses when you pull it forward, that could be very dangerous. So please proceed with caution. Oops, and a reminder for everyone, including me, please try to close the stopper with control so it doesn't slam. Less about the noise, more because we want to control it. That one got away from me. Last one. Belly button lifts as you push away and bring it all the way in, close the stopper. So you may be catching on. We did a pull version of these movements when we were facing the posts. Now we're doing push versions of the same thing. So just as we did uh, knee pulses in and out, we're gonna go for our knee stretches is what we call them here. So those are reverse knee stretches. These are regular knee stretches. So I'm gonna start off in that same position, same spring load, shoulders over wrists. I'm gonna push out to prep. And now my knees are gonna come forward and back forward and back. So you'll see my shoulder ankle isn't closing. My hips are staying pretty much vertically in the same spot, but my knees are coming under my hips and forward and extending back. Keep your soles of the feet pressed into the shoulder blocks. 
Good. Let's keep it going. We're going to go for six. Hopefully feeling your low abs really engaging. Five. Exhale as the knees go back. Four. Be noisy with your breath. Three. You're probably in your home. <laughs> Nobody's listening, I don't think. <sighs> Make you see your breath. And one. Good. Bring the carriage all the way home. We're going to give one more thing a shot. So next and last for today, we're going to go for long stretch or plank. So headrest will go up. If you have a sticky pad to put down in your headrest, I advise it. Or if you can wear uh, grip socks, that would be great. You're going to place your toes onto the headrest behind you, palms shoulder distance apart on the bar. You're going to push up through the palms to separate through your shoulder blades. Legs extend long. Make sure your hips aren't piked up. You want a nice diagonal line. Push through the bar to send it away. Bring it back. This doesn't need to be big to be effective. Think about your head returning on an upward diagonal as you bring the stopper in or bring the carriage home. Good, let's go for three. How about you, but I'm shaking. I used to call us the shake of truth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting some truth right now. Last one. Close the stopper. Lower your knees. And let's finish up with some centering. So we'll wrap up with a mermaid, which is a nice side body stretch, but you do get some oblique engagement as well. So I've switched to one red, one blue, or one heavy, one light spring. I place the headrest down. My legs are stacked on top of each other. And my right leg is on top. And my left hand is on the foot bar. Nice neutral spine, right arm down by your side. Roll the left shoulder back, big breath in. Exhale, reach up and over. Palm faces the floor, deep breath in, exhale. Use your abdominals as you bring it back. Nice. Follow your hand as you lift up and reach over. Taking care not to flare your ribs out, ribs are down. Big breath in and bring the hand right back down. Good, shoulders down. 3D breath, exhale, reach over to the left, shoulders relax and release down, faces relaxed. Big breath in, good, close the stopper. Hold on to the shoulder block in the front, you're gonna reach up and over with your left hand. Nice big curve, look over your right shoulder. Deep breath in, breathe into your side. Exhale, turn your shoulders to face the floor. Take a nice big curve, bring your arm down. Big breath in, exhale. Let's go for the other side. So now right hand is on the center of the foot bar. Left leg is stacked on top. Left arm is down by my side. Shoulders are relaxed and roll down. I'm gonna take a big breath in, press into your right hand on the foot bar, reach up and over with that left hand. Deep breath in. Use your abdominals to lift you up to control the carriage closed. Good, reach up and over with that left arm. Make sure that right shoulder is away from your ear. Big breath in, exhale, stack it up nice and tall. Last one. Big breath in. Bend over to the side. Stack it up nice and tall. When the stopper closes, grab onto the shoulder block in front of you. Reach up and over with your right hand, bending over to the side, feeling that side body stretch on the right side. Turn your shoulders to the floor. Bring your arm and your torso lower, holding over your body. Big breath in, exhale, reach up and over. Let's turn around, we'll do our final breath. So sitting on your reformer facing whichever direction is good for you. Crossing my legs, my hands are on my knees. If you need to sit on a little pillow, that's fine too. We're gonna arch and curl the spine. So I'm gonna take a big breath in. I'm gonna exhale, round the pelvis under, curl the upper body forward, look for your belly button. Big breath in, exhale, unfurl the spine, send your tailbone back, shine your sternum toward the ceiling, shoulders wide, back extension. Big breath in, curl. Looking for your pelvis or your belly button. Feel which other muscles are releasing. <sighs> Exhale, roll the shoulders back. Send your tailbone back behind you. Flare your sits bones. Shine that Iron Man light in your chest up toward the ceiling. Big breath in, feel like someone's pushing your belly button back behind you. 
for me, my glutes are very sore today, so I feel them talking to me too as I do this. <sighs> Exhale, arch it back. Bring your rib cage back over your pelvis. Close your eyes, roll your shoulders back. Deep breath in. Exhale, roll it back. Relax the shoulders. Shake your head no. Nod your head yes. Deep breath in. Grow a little bit taller. Exhale, open your eyes. You did it. Thank you so much for joining me. You made it to day two. Please join me again for day three coming up next. And if you're not yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button so that we can see each other more. And please join my membership subscription where I post exclusive workouts when I get into some extra fun stuff over there. Thank you as always to my membership supporters. You guys are making this channel possible. I so appreciate your support. And thank you also to my super thanks supporters. It means a lot to me. Thank you all. I'll see you for day three tomorrow. Love you guys. Bye.